Yeah, and I think, Joyce, this is what a lot of people were hoping for in this debate. A lot of interaction between the candidates. It was very focused on the issues. One of the more heated exchanges involved the county's share of the funding deal for the new Milwaukee Bucks Arena, with each of the candidates accusing the other of making that deal worse for county taxpayers. I would point at the, the failed Bucks deal. Uh, the fact where he put the county... But you walked, voted for the Bucks deal, did right. you not? He's the one who walked into the room. And by the time he walked out, you and I and every other person in Milwaukee County was on the hook for $80 million that they weren't on the hook for before. Uh, that's not exactly what happened. Uh, the bill, when it came to you, did uh, include the commitment of the county, but it also included a revenue source, which, per your request, uh, was removed. And then quickly the debate moved to the uh, future of the Mitchell Park domes and whether or not they should be saved. I think it's a, it's a gut check, right, when they say the domes are in trouble. This is a, it's a symbol of Milwaukee. We've got to do what we can. Put on your alley hats. Let's, let's figure it out. To Senator Larson's point, I think it's interesting. He said, look, we've got to keep it. Well, oh, do we want to hear from the public, too? And by informed public input in the committee, we're talking, okay, what if, instead of serving 250,000 people there, what if it was more like 500,000 like they used to or more? Another interesting exchange involved Larson's repeated attempts to link ably to Governor Scott Walker. Both of the candidates talked about that in the minutes after the debate right out here to reporters will have uh, their comments. You hear what they have to say about that coming up in our next half hour reporting live at the Marquette Law School. I'm Kent Wayne Scott, WISN 12.